Hey, before the video starts, I just wanted to say I've noticed there's been a huge jump in subscribers lately, and I'll talk to you about it later, but enjoy the video for now. It's been a good day. Well, now I get to enjoy my Oreo Reese's chocolate cookie and milk. What? Oh no, no. No! It can't be! It's Father's Day! Now I have to get something from my dad. Oh my gosh. Father's Day! Why does this thing even exist? Why is it Father's Day? <laughs> well, I guess I gotta make a video for it. Well,. Go to the magical teleportation station to my YouTube studio. Well, this is how I usually get here. Anyway, welcome back to Faith Facts. It's your girl, Faith, and we're back with another video. So this video, of course, if you didn't know from that terrible sketch earlier, is about Father's Day and what that means. So first, let's do a quick rundown as to what Father's Day actually is for those who don't know. According to TimingDate.com, Father's Day in the United States is on the third Sunday of June. It celebrates the contribution that fathers and father figures make to their children's lives. Its origins may lie in a memorial service held for a large group of men, many of them fathers, who were killed in a mining accident in Monaga, West Virginia in 1907. Father's Day is an occasion to mark and celebrate the contribution that your own father has made to your life. Many people send or give cards or gifts to their fathers. Common Father's Day gifts include sports items or clothing, electronic gadgets, outdoor cooking supplies, and tools for household maintenance. Father's Day is a relatively modern day holiday, so different families have a range of traditions. They can range from a simple phone call or greeting card to large parties honoring all the father figures in a particular extended family. Father figures can include fathers, stepfathers, father-in-laws, grandfathers, and great-grandfathers, and even other man male relatives. In the day and weeks before Father's Day, many schools and Sunday schools help their pupils to prepare handmade cards or small gifts for their fathers. Public transit system runs to their normal Sunday schedules, and restaurants may be busier than usual as many people take their fathers out for a treat. So now that we know the details, let's get into what this video is about. Father's Day can mean so much for people. It can mean seeing a father figure for the first time in a year. It can mean mourning the loss of a father. It can mean honoring someone you love. It can mean resenting those who hurt you in the past. It can even mean honoring male father figures in the community. It can even mean having a pity party. Whatever Father's Day means to you, it has a meaning to almost anyone. So today we are going to talk about what Father's Day means to me and my family. For me, I grew up with my dad my entire life and I have a pretty good relationship with him. You know, sometimes we'll go out for rides around the country or we'll go to see these beautiful mansions and homes nearby that look beautiful. Um, sometimes we'll go out with my mom. Sometimes I'll read with my dad, sometimes I'll watch TV with him, sometimes I'll ask him about questions which I'll end up regretting because he'll give an hour-long speech about life choices afterward. I don't know. I just really love him and I think he deserves the world. So that's what leads me to my next three points right here. One, Father's Day means to me a time to honor my own father and the other father figures in my life. Because Father's Day doesn't just include people who are actual fathers. Because I, I don't know where I saw this quote. I saw it a little while ago. Anyone could be a father, but it takes a real man to be a dad. So I kind of roll with that philosophy. And I think that... Any man 
whether he's a father or not, if he's a leader and a good example to people who are younger than him or even older than him, then he's a father figure. So that's number one, honoring my dad and father figures. I'd also like to include in that my grandpa. We do everything together. We go around, we go out to town, we'll sit at home and watch TV, we'll cook something to eat for our house, we'll go for walks, we'll... I just love my grandpa. And that's what leads me to number two. Acknowledging the older men in everyone's lives. Like my grandpa or like my dad would be considered a little old. All these older men that are good examples in the community. It can it doesn't even have to be a dad or a granddad. It could be an uncle, the sister's boyfriend, it could be a teacher a guidance counselor, a community leader, anyone really. Which leads me to number three. Acknowledging the work that these fathers and father figures do. I mean, I tried looking for like hours on YouTube to find a decent Father's Day song for my dad and my granddad to play during like our family get-togethers. And there are literally none that I could find that weren't country, because my dad and my granddad don't really like country. So difficult, guys. I was disappointed. Because, I mean, there are so many father figures out there that do so much for these people out here and help raise people and give them guidance and support throughout their lives. Why don't they have a song? They should have at least three song three good Father's Day songs. Like Mother's Day, there are a few songs for Mother's Day because, you know, everyone has to respect mom. But Father's Day barely has any songs. So that's my petition. In the comments, can you tell me any songs that you know that are related to Father's Day or related to, like, saying, thanks, Dad, thanks for raising me or something like that? Please tell me in the comments. I really need your help. And to be honest, not as much as Mother's Day, but I feel that Father's Day is a little bit of a scam. It's designed for people to buy ties and Father's Day gifts for fathers who, at least my father, most of the time doesn't wear these gifts. That's why I feel that Father's Day is a scam sometimes. And it coincides with Mother's Day. Like, Mother's Day is designed to buy the woman in your life, the, the mother woman figure in your life, flowers or a dinner or some candy or something that the mother would appreciate but sometimes I feel that these gifts don't really come from the heart and they're just kind of uh, saying like oh I bought my mom this for Mother's Day that means that I'm a good son or daughter or oh I bought my mom this that means she loves me or and it doesn't like material things things don't always make up who a person is or how much they mean to you. Doesn't make up who a person is or how much they mean to you. Really, it's your actions, like going to see them someday or giving them a call or FaceTiming them or sending them a card or making a necklace for some them or something. That, I feel, is what mothers and fathers and mother figures and father figures appreciate more than anything you can give them in the world. Because if they really wanted something, it would probably be like 18 billion dollars in a car. Well, anyway, those are my three reasons. Number one for celebrating Father's Day is to honor the dads in your life. Number two is to acknowledge the older men in your life. Those who show fatherly love. Those who show fatherly love. That's number three. Well, anyway, I hope you guys really liked this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe down below. And don't forget to share, guys. Guys, I gotta break a team. We are getting so close. We are getting so close to 125 subscribers. Last time I checked, we were at 90. So, if we just keep going on, you guys really don't understand how this affects me. It affects me so much and all the love that's been coming to this channel from you guys I really really appreciate it like I don't even know how to put it into words you guys are so sweet you are the best people in the world 
and your work is not going unnoticed. I have a ton of content that is coming out. I want to know what you guys think. I want to know what you feel and what you guys want to see on here so that I can make this YouTube experience the best YouTube experience in the entire world. So comment below what you guys want to see me do in the next video. I could do a few food review or I could go out and question people about stuff, anything. Comment below. I love you guys for subscribing and please, please don't forget to share this video with everyone that you know and make sure that you turn on post notifications if you want to be informed about all the next videos coming out as soon as they come out. And please stay tuned and I will listen to you and I hope you guys listen to me. Let's reach that goal of 125! Well, I've got a Father's Day dinner to attend, so I'll see you guys later. Bye.